Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Crisis here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a uh, Black Ops 2 gameplay. Um, it's about 7 minutes long, and I believe I go 45 and 19. Um, this is Newtown 2025, if you guys didn't know, it's uh, part of Black Ops 2. Um, if you're playing it right now, it's uh, its own personal playlist, so you guys can play it all the time as much as you want. Um, yeah, this gameplay isn't that stellar, but I just wanted to bring it to you guys because it's my second game, and I just wanted to tell you uh, what I don't like and what I like about Black Ops 2, um, because I did not think that I was going to be playing this game, but um, I went over to uh, Mr. Hansen's house, uh, and we played a little bit of Zombies, and I was like, you know what, I want to play multiplayer. So, um, he was like, alright, you can play multiplayer, and in this second game, I got this gameplay, and I blow up by the car there, which totally sucks. But, um, yeah, like, I, I actually, I, I actually absolutely love this game. This game was very well done by Treyarch, and, um, I really, you know, a lot of different Call of Duties had their problems, and this game certainly has its problems, like, the, well, it's it's a ridiculous problem because the servers sometimes are not able to handle the amount of players that are online. But um, you know, Treyarch could have done something about that. But if that's really the only problem in the game, uh, it's a, it's got to be a really good game then. Um, so the things I actually the, let's keep going with the things I don't like. I don't like how many head glitching spots you can have. Um, there's a, there's just too many of them. Uh, for people to camp at, and um, some some of the maps can be like obsessively. I try to run away from the uh, dragon fire or whatever it's called. I'm still new to this game, but um, I lost my train of thought there. Um, the maps, the maps can sometimes be way too big. Um, so I like to play Newtown 2025 because it's a small map, and I'm sort of familiar with the map style. And I, I just enjoy um, playing Call of Duty or Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, I sound like I did when I was playing Modern Warfare 3 for the first time. Um, excuse me. But um, yeah, let's let's move on to the things I like about the game. Um, the score streaks. The first thing they added into this game are the score streaks, and it is the coolest idea any Call of Duty game has ever had. You get rewarded for playing the objective which I think adds so much to this game. But that's another problem that I don't really like with this game. Even though you get rewarded for score streaks, people will still sit in the back um, and camp, camp for their kill streaks, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even understand how you can have so I got a nice little cheeky triple spray right there. But um, I don't even understand how you can enjoy playing the game when you're sitting in the back of the map. I mean, maybe you go like 10 and 0, but why would you want to go 10 and 0 camping in the back? Where are you going to be like, post this on YouTube? Oh yeah, I went 10 and 0, yay, that's awesome. Uh, no, you are sitting in the back like a little girl. So just run around. I mean, like, I, I go 42 and 19 in this gameplay, but I'm running around. I'm having fun. I'm not giving a crap. I'm just enjoying this game to the fullest, and I don't understand how you can just sit in the back. And, um, so, yeah, sorry, I went off, I just completely went off track with what I was saying. Um, the score streaks and what I like about this game. Um, yeah, the score, scre score streaks are a really cool addition to the game. Um, they're a new way to, um, reward, re reward good players for playing the objective other than kill whoring, which, um, you know, it, w it was fun back in the old Call of Duty games like Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 2, and um, uh, other, uh, like, even Modern Warfare 3, like, you could get specialist bonus and support, but, you know, like, oh man, I lost my train of thought again, but, um, yeah, score streets are a cool way to, um, well, oh, yeah, that's another thing. I just saw some UAV assist go. Oh, I walked right into that grenade. Um, I just saw some UAV assist up. You get 20 points for when somebody kills a person while you have a UAV up in the air, which is... Uh, it's, a, it's a great thing. Like, for playing the objective and helping out your team, you get rewarded more, which is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant... I cannot stress this enough. Uh, brilliant move by Treyarch to put that into the game. And, um, let's, let's move, oh, the weapons in this game, I love the weapons so much in this game, it's, um, I, you know, I'm level 7, 
and um, I and I already have the MP7, and the MP7 is a great gun. There's incredible weapon balance in this game, um, and it's halftime, so I'm just gonna. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'll just keep talking about the weapons. The weapon balance in this game is um, pretty cool, and um, you know when you have like a vector going up against a scorpion evo i guess you could say Domination. whoever um has the better gun skill is gonna win the gunfight you know like it, it has nothing to do with like it wasn't modern warfare 3 if somebody had an mp7 and you were using a uh, mp5 i guess you could say like you could have all the gun skill in the world but you won't be able to win the gunfight because mp7 has no recoil um Maybe not a higher rate of fire, but it has more gun damage, which is, like, um, insane. Um, yeah, but I love, I love the weapons balance in this game. Oh, my favorite part about this game is that the SMG, uh, the SMGs are, like, like, the best weapons in the game. Like, it used to be, from every single game up till now, assault rifles, assault rifles have been the best weapons in the game no matter what i mean you had the m16 in cod 4 the ak-47 in cod 4 um world at war you had the mp40 i didn't play much of that game but from what i did play the mp40 was obviously the best gun in the game um modern warfare 2 the tar 21 the scar a uh scar l or scar h um i don't know whatever it is um the scar the TAR, I probably already said that, the M16 even, but um, Black Ops, you had the FAMAS, and the AK-47, and the AUG, and the G11, um, and Modern Warfare 3, you had the ACR, and that was, but those are all like the best guns in the games, and they're all assault rifles, but in this game, I could list off a ton of submachine guns that overpower any, um, any uh, what is it called, uh, assault rifle, uh, the MP7, uh, the Scorpion Evo and the Vector. Um, yeah, so this is the end of the gameplay. Um, uh, it was a 42 and 19 game, I believe. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, those are my opinions on Black Ops 2. And um, subscribe if you want to. And uh, thank you for watching the video and listening to what I have to say about Black Ops 2. Thank you very much. Peace.